Trying to do a few more things before I drain the coolant. <coughs> I loosen this bolt, pull the connector out. Kind of helps to pull on the pull the connector out as you loosen the bolt, so it slides out with the bolt. And then this guy's got a little safety over here. You pull this blue thing out, and then this pops off. Okay, now to take this off, you just pull this latch outward on both sides. Hung up on it. Can't do it. Okay, so I got that off. And then this guy, I'm going to just lift him off. And now we take out these three bolts there and probably these two uh, terminals. And then this will lift off and expose the connectors underneath. I took the coolant line off so I stopped getting poked by this stupid hose clamp. Just coming over here. It's clipped in, clipped in here behind the ECM. Took these two guys off. The uh, bottom one goes back towards the firewall. The top, top one, I think, probably goes over to the starter. <clears throat> so this probably comes from the battery, and this goes to the uh, starter. And now I can't remember if I have to pull every fuse out to take this out or not, so I have to play with it a little bit and figure out how that comes out again. I took it out once, but I forgot. And so I had to take out, just to lift it up enough to work on these tabs, I had to take out nut down there. Uh, the nut on top of the coolant reservoir in this bracket. And then there's a bolt down here that holds this as well. So once that's loose and the tank's loose, oh, well, there's a bolt here. Once that's all loose, at least you can move it up high enough that you can attempt to release this latch. You have to pull away, and you can't do that with the down in there. At least I can't with my hands. There's one here, there's one on the back side, and then there's one down here. Okay, that was no fun. <clears throat> you don't have to take the fuses out and the relays. It was still held up, so I thought they were holding them, but what you have to do is loosen these guys, and they come up, push them down hard, and that pushes the connector on the bottom off of all those contacts. But there's so many contacts, it feels like it's being held in when you just try to lift up if you don't have those disengaged. So you've got to get these all the way out, and then push them down so the shoulder hits the plastic, and that'll push the connector off the back, and then you can lift this piece out. Once that piece is out, you can lift out these connectors. The green one goes first, then this gray one is there, and then the white one is last, which I believe is the engine module. That okay, there's the drain plug. It's located on the passenger side, bottom of the radiator. Kind of tough to get at. <clears throat> I had to take this uh, access plate off to really get a good look at it. You can see it from the top, but it's pretty hard to turn it. <clears throat> So if you take that plate off, it's right up in here, and I had to make a little tool to turn it because it was so tight, and I couldn't get a pliers on it the way it was facing. Once I got it turned a little bit, then I could get it with the pliers and get it the rest of the way out and drain all the coolant. I actually blew the uh, blue compressed air into this hose and then into this container here with the cap on. And it's able to get a lot more coolant out that way so it doesn't dump all over when I take the hoses off. At least, hopefully not as much. Okay, I've taken off the radiator hose here. Just close that with the pliers and then helps to get a channel locks on here and twist it to break it loose and then it can just wiggle off. And also this other radiator hose comes in here. And he goes underneath the air conditioning line, underneath this wiring harness, which I think this air conditioning line is going to force me to separate the engine and the transmission, because I, I certainly can't come straight up. There's a chance I could take the whole thing and rotate it and maybe get the tail underneath that AC line, but I don't think it's looking too good. Uh, this one's going to come out next. This is the coolant reservoir. I just have to take off another one of those spring clamps down here and pull him out. This guy is a common problem on Saturns. This uh, sensor right here senses the coolant level and it gets gunked up and doesn't you can hear it rattle in there. It doesn't rattle, <coughs> doesn't move. 
and it indicates low coolant on the dash. So I had to put a new reservoir in to fix that. It's integral with the reservoirs so they don't sell just the, just the sensor itself. This was the hardest thing to get apart so far. The hose from the reservoir to the engine actually uh, damaged this hose. It was on there so tight I had to pull and twist and it's uh, ripped at the end there a little bit so I have to get a new hose. Okay, I guess I'll try to take this radiator hose off. I'd really rather not, but I know it's going to get in the way I'm trying to get the engine out. So see if I can get him off without ruining it. Okay, that came out easy. And I marked radiator end, engine end, so I can put it back the right way. Starting to get it cleaned out in there. Here's the other radiator hose. Goes on the uh, passenger side of the car.